Okay. Hopefully this tracks. Okay, right. I keep saying okay again, and I'm really sick, and I still find it funny. Um, I was going to go away this week and do some fun stuff, interview some cool people, speak to some cool people who are going through this kind of same situation as me. I'm too sick. My breathing's gone funny, my abdomen is completely screwed. Palpable lumps, which can't be scanned at the moment because I've had too much radiation recently, uh, are up to 12. So that's 12 feelable lumps in my side uh, that are pretty much guaranteed to be cancerous. Now my sickness level has gone from like being a little bit sick to massively sick over the course of like a couple of weeks. Uh, Fatigue, I can't stay awake for very long. Um, I'm not sleeping very well. Pain level is probably a 10 constantly. There's no way to stop this pain. Uh, we've tried. So the pain is just there, like, <laughs> you have this pain, Dan, you have this pain. Um, I'm glad this type of cancer doesn't affect very many people, if I'm honest. Uh, there's around, what, 20, 30 recorded cases ever. And it doesn't affect people very often. Um, and I'm glad. Because it's horrible. The lack of research means that I'll potentially die from this. Uh, the lack of understanding by doctors or people on how to treat it just makes it worse. Uh, because everyone's just stabbing, literally stabbing in the dark. And I'm not complaining about my situation. I'm not, like, being melodramatic when I say like I, I, I am genuinely fearful of some things but I am fearless in how I'm fighting it and everyone who said oh you're a motivational speaker or you're this person you're that person there's nothing motivating me in this situation more than wanting to survive and I'm just trying to convey the emotion and the raw aspect of how it is to have something that's so rare that no one knows what to do. It's, it's heartbreakingly hard to deal with. And I've had to cancel holidays that I got for Christmas and things like that. And loads of my life has just deteriorated over time. And because I have to keep going in and out of hospital, I can't work properly. And that's the same for like a lot of people who get cancer or have cancer and stuff. I'm no different to them. Everyone has their like financial woes and financial worries and uh, lifestyle changes that they have to make and things that are just completely off the scale of like comprehensible. And I'm just trying to make it through it. And I'm really disappointed myself that I've not been able to go and have some fun this week and do stuff that I really, really wanted to do. Go and, like, just be silly and record some silly stuff that would hopefully make people smile and things. But I'm too sick. I've had to have, like, conversations this morning to see if they can rush the surgery through um, because I am too sick. I just sleep all day and I can't get out of bed talking I'm having to be careful when I'm talking because I'm gonna throw up um, it's horrible the situation is horrible I don't feel sorry for myself because I'm trying to get out of this situation and like change it and hopefully change it for other people who ever get this and that's the point of researching it and trying to like make things better and Okay, I've done this whole thing of YouTube and I've made it like this cottage industry and I've done this like media hype machine that I've done with um, my YouTube, which I've tried to make it as professional as I could in a short space of time, as quick as I could, because the reason for that is I don't have time to wait to do this research. I don't have time and it's like, I don't know, someone crazily said a load of stuff the other day that was completely deluded, but you've got to think I've got this whole time limit on how quick I can get information together to potentially help myself and to help others, because now I know of some other people who are alive with it. 
I feel obliged to try and help. And I can't help if I'm dead. This YouTube thing that I'm doing and this YouTube stuff that I'm doing is just an outlet for me uh, when I can't talk to anyone else. It's an outlet for me when I want to express how I feel about something, but it's also a good way of trying to expose uh, the severity of rare cancers and how they affect people, not just uh, the fact that sometimes people don't realize that like this cancer that I have is probably accounts for less than 0, 0.0 something percent of cancer worldwide. Now sarcoma in itself, which is one of the rarest that people look at, <clears throat> accounts for like 3%, I think it is, of cancer. So th th think about that, put that into your head and think about that. Genuinely no research, no, no understanding of how to treat this or make it better. So it's literally stabbing in the dark. I'm sick now, like really sick. And I refuse to like pander down to that whole thing of <clears throat> giving in to stuff. But I have to have like some kind of break from this soon. I'm hoping when they do the surgery it'll all be out and then I can just try and find a way to just make this better. And live again a bit. Terminal uh, cancer and incurable cancer is exactly that usually. No one knows a time limit. And that's the thing, no one knows a time limit. And I'm a fighter. I'm not going to give up. Uh, so don't give in, don't give up like I say and everything. And yeah. Just wanted to share how I felt today. I just really want the surgery to hurry up. And have my life back. It feels so far away. My life feels so far away. I just want it back. I also want to put weight on. So it's a weird thing for someone to say, I want to put weight on, I want to be larger than I want, what I am now. I don't like being this uh, kind of skinny mini thing that I've become uh, compared to what I was before. I don't like it. <clears throat> but yeah, I tried to make myself look a little healthier and a little bit better for video purposes. Um, and I know you all like it when I have that little bit sticking up there so I'll try and get that to stick up for you for a minute but yeah just want it over now just want to get rid of this cancer I want to try and help other people and I'm blabbering on because I'm stressed but yeah thank you everyone for your support thank you for going to my website peewetoms.com and trying to have a chat with me, checking out my stuff and um, things I write, because I don't just do the vlog, I write as well. Um, and I can't wait to publish the research side of stuff because I think it'll be helpful to a lot of people in understanding. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone for your support, your help with like getting money for research and stuff like that. and helping me do stuff. And like I say, I'm not gonna give in and I'm not gonna give up. So don't everyone, don't do it. Just don't give in, don't give up. And just even know everything's rubbish, uh, smile, all right? If I had a joke, uh, I'd tell you a joke, but I don't have one on me, so I'm sorry. But yeah, 
smile, fight on. See you tomorrow. Sorry for waffling. Uh, and yeah, I feel like poo. I don't feel poo. There you go, I've got a joke for you. I don't feel poo, because uh, that's dirty. Um, I feel like poo. Rubbish, absolutely rubbish. I'm going back to bed. See you tomorrow. And yeah, see you tomorrow.